Oh my god. New season. New season. New season. Third skies. What? We need to dive into it. Let's see what we have. And what? Thunder punch? Thunder punch. Again Thunder punch. Oh, it's swift. It's not swift. <laughs> That's body slam basically. <laughs> Okay, we got it. Let's dive into the showcase of Search Skies. Okay, trainers, let's begin now with Go Battle League Search Skies update. So, this is gonna be looking kind of weird, but you're gonna see what I mean in a while. Uh, first of all, I just saw the Thunder Punch and the Swift, and I have no clue what else I should expect. So, let's see what is going on. So, Go Battle League Search Skies, okay, the standard rewards before the season rotates. I want to remind you at this point that you can always use your Star Piece if you have ranked kind of high on Go Battle League so that you can get some some extra standards which is pretty neat if you ask me. So here comes now the schedule, we're gonna have from June 1 to June 7 the amazing Great League with Ultra Premier, okay you know what, I'll take it, Great League is always a fun favorite format and Ultra Premier is for those that want to have some extra fun in Go Battle League. Uh, the following uh, week we're gonna have Ultra League with Summer Cup Great League Edition. This is right here is gonna be my favorite format in Go Battle League ever. This is the format that, that, that uh, Sado Zabdos goes crazy against the entire meta and I really can't wait to showcase my skills here. But I really hope that they would add this one later on since uh, still we're gonna try to run Cup in Go Battle League and we could not use this uh, uh, format to rank up to legend or whatever. So the following week, June 14 to June 21, we're gonna have uh, Master League and Summer Cup once again. So yeah, Summer Cup, Master League, stuff like that, four times starters whenever uh, Master League is around, which is also pretty nice. Uh, June 21st to June 28th, and yeah, all leagues will rotate. Next up, Great League Master Premier. Okay, let's keep going. Great League Remix with Ultra League, Master League with Great League Remix, and yeah, this is getting kind of uh, boring uh, having this back to back to back to back seasons, but I really get it anyways. Another rotation here with. Uh, three leagues in one single week and next up okay july 26th we're gonna have fantasy cup this took a while so you know what this looking kind of good i like it on great league as well fossil cup on great league fossil cup on great league and cat cup on great league alongside those leagues i really hope that niantic sees at this point that cat cup will not be a popular format and perhaps they completely remove it it makes no sense and yeah, eventually it turns out like a Bastion meta or whatever because people don't care about Stardust most of the times. So anyways, and we're gonna close the season with the complete rotation of Great Ultra and Master. Okay, pretty good so far. So next up we have the Go Battle Week which is gonna last from August 16th to uh, August 20th and I guess that this is not a week. Yeah, this is not a week. This is five days in total. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What are you talking about? This is not a week. This is more than half a week. Uh, anyways, we're gonna get the usual uh, four times Stardust uh, win rewards and we're gonna have uh, 20 sets per day. Okay, this is gonna be looking pretty good. So we're gonna have rewards of a weak avatar item. Yeah, we don't care about that. We'll have a wider variance of attack, defense and HP. Okay, so random uh, IVs in Go Battle League. Uh, so here comes now uh, the guaranteed rank up encounters. Wingo, yes, I'm just kidding. Uh, Scraggy, Dino, Gumi, Junk Mo, Pikachu Libre. We can always keep those except the Pikachu Libre. We don't care about the rest, right? We're also gonna have a Gumi community day later on. Uh, this uh, month, I guess uh, June, not this month, May. But anyway, standard counters, match of Gligar, Wingal, yes, Grabbing, Squavet, uh, Freely, Scarbing, uh, Alola Margo, Click, Tangralts, all these are kinda useless and have kinda decent usage in PvP. Yeah, not looking that great, especially the Fallings, uh, the. 
Matchup, uh, grabbing, grouping, whatever, yeah, uh, uh, kinda mech if you ask me. Uh, so anyways, we're also gonna have uh, the timed research pass, this is the standard, the standard one with the Stardust again, and of course we're gonna be rewarded with Elite Fast TM and Elite Charge TM. Uh, avatar items, okay, this outfit looks cool, the pose not so much, I don't know what Niantic is taking lately, they definitely have better poses on uh, uh, the paid events that uh, they introduce new poses actually so yeah uh, what is this i don't know uh, we're gonna just keep this one uh, ultra premier now uh, it's gonna be one of the formats that we're gonna have one of the cups summer cup okay i already told you this is one of my favorites master premier great Lick remix and look at that how many pokemon what what is happening what the uh, Galarian Stanfisk? Okay, I guess. Uh, Medicham? Who is playing this Pokemon? Because Feraligator is here, so someone has really done their homework. But having Medicham and Stanfisk in this meta, well, I think that's definitely a mistake, especially when we have Trevenant as well. These are not that popular. Glycar is definitely more popular than half of these Pokemon from this list. And for some reason it isn't around. Okay, that's kinda mediocre and kinda weird for Niantic. So we're just gonna keep going here because most of this list are gonna be meta relevant, but some Pokemon are not supposed to be here anyways uh, so Gligar should have been in this list okay but yeah for some reason it isn't uh, fantasy cup great league edition uh, with dragon steel fairy i really like this format as well it might be looking kind of restricted but still it is kind of balanced in my opinion at least you can feel free to disagree anyways fossil cup now great league edition uh yeah we already got this and cats cup just skipping this, we don't care about Cuts Cup. And you're gonna see with your own eyes that uh, you're gonna play either Master League or Ultra League or even Great League on that week. So yeah, just gonna skip this one. Attack changes. This is the main stuff that we are here for. So Scald. Uh, chance to lower the opposing uh, Pokemon's attack is decreased. So basically, we're gonna have 10% or 20% of Scald uh, uh, destroying the opposing Pokemon's uh, attack stats. So that's gonna be looking like a pretty solid change. And even though it is still gonna be around, I guess that we're gonna see less and less of those skulls. Perhaps Whiskas now can rely more on Blizzard than Skulls. So that's gonna be an interesting change, to be honest, and one that I'm really fond of. So Spark now, definitely this is a main hit to uh, Lantern and I guess that this is gonna work because it might not be looking that much on paper with 5 power instead of 6 but still Lantern is uh, uh, requiring a lot of attention to its fast attack so I guess that even this light debuff will put it a little bit out of competition. Perhaps Water Gun Lantern now is gonna be a much uh, safer choice for Great League. So Seed Bomb now is gonna have a slight uh, uh, power bonus and I guess that this is also understandable you want to have more of that Revenant back in the meta and yeah no else nothing else is gonna get uh, the maximum benefit of that move perhaps Executor but who is using that Pokemon anyways Swift now is gonna be another great move to be added in uh, the moveset of a lot of Pokemon and here you can see that this is gonna get a slight uh, a debuff on its uh, damage power but at the same time it's gonna take less time to get there still we do not know how much time you're gonna need how much energy but still much less than it already does and i can already imagine my mind on that electric cup having a much better match up against the entire meta with swift that's gonna be interesting even though we have no electric cup this season so in speaking of electric cups here it is trainers the attack availability updates and this means that 
more Pokemon are gonna get more moves and most of these are gonna be Thunder Punch users. Yeah, Niantic really screwed this up. I think that this is one of the worst move updates that we had in a while and yeah, Thunder Punch, ugh, not the best move but for some reason Niantic loved it and it is even gonna give it as a legacy move on Gudra. I don't know about these trainers. Uh, Typhlosion should be much better with its sorb in my guess because Incinerate has crazy damage uh, er crazy energy gain and of course you can always count on it even against those mad boys with solar beam while with thunder punch I guess you're gonna get a little bit of extra coverage against the flyers but blast burn still hurts a lot so Rayolu now this is gonna be kind of a game changer for it especially on the little caps but I do not see a lot of action over there uh, Lucario with Thunder Punch, another update to Lucario and yeah, not that much of a, of a big fan. Perhaps Scraggy is the biggest winner here because now it can use Foul Play and Thunder Punch, two moves that can help it a lot with coverage. Scrafty with Scraggy will get that move. Uh, so yeah, Scraggy perhaps on the little cap, but Scrafty mostly on that great league format. Uh, Chestnut now with Thunder Punch, this is gonna be kinda interesting to be fair, but still I guess that Super Power and Frezzy Plant are gonna be your main way to go. Perhaps on a special cap, but still I'm not that sure. Pomo and Pomod are gonna be two Pokemon that uh, you're gonna see them with Thunder Punch and not sure how good they're gonna be, but I can already imagine that they're not gonna be meta relevant at all. Logix now is a classy Pokemon with a fast attack counter. This is an interesting uh, move by Niantic because Logix is a Pokemon that hasn't seen the spotlight of action at least in PvP for since it was debuted in Pokemon Go. So yeah, with Counter, perhaps we're gonna see a lot of action by that Pokemon. Settle now. And this is one of my new favorite Pokemon. So if I was gonna pick uh, my all time team, I would start with Empoleon, follow up with Hunter and Zapdos, and then I would pick Setotl. This one looks like a pretty cute Digimon like Pokemon with Powder Snow now for that little cap format, and Set Titan with Powder Snow as well. I really like this Pokemon with uh, Ice Art, and I can't wait to try it out with my Powder Snow now. This is looking like a solid change. Naganadel is gonna be another Pokemon to get the massive uh, move update and I'm just joking because Dragon Claw is gonna help it but not that much. If I were you and I want to use a Dragon Potion type uh, Pokemon I would just go for Dragalzi. it is still gonna outperform anything else in Ultra League and uh, Great League while you still can use Naganadel, Naganadel or whatever in Master League so it's all up to you. Clefairy now, Clefable, Jigglypuff, Wigglypuff, uh, Wigglytuff, uh, Clefa, Iglybuff, Teddy Ursa, Ursa Ring, Ursa Luna are all gonna get massive addition with that Swift and yeah, this is gonna be looking kinda interesting because of how uh, they can manipulate that move towards their advantage, this Pokemon I mean with its stab attack bonus, so perhaps you can uh, use them towards your advantage as well, I'm not sure about this move, perhaps they could give something like a bot slam on this Pokemon instead of reworking Swift but who knows perhaps when abilities are gonna be added in Pokemon Go Swift will be a move that cannot be dodged with shields and that's gonna be an interesting change overall so now for the final uh, for Pokemon we're gonna have the addition of fly in their movesets Salamence is a pretty interesting one but the most uh, interesting one of them all is gonna be Pharaoh. This one with Fly now is gonna have access to a move that can hurt in reality a lot of Pokemon in the meta. I want to remind you that this Pokemon also has access to the reworked fast attack of Steelwing and also Dig, which means that it can hurt those electric types if it wants to. This is an amazing glassy closer for a lot of teams in Great League and perhaps in Ultra League. I'm not sure how high it can reach on the on its uh, 
MVP, but definitely on Great League, this is gonna be a game changer for Firo. Swan and Subat now are also gonna get fly, but I do not see them having a lot of actions. So, a lot of action in PvP at least. So, that's gonna be all about the update, and I guess that Firo, alongside what else, uh, Set Titan, Low Kicks, and perhaps uh, Scrafty are gonna be the main big winners of uh, this move update, while we're gonna see less of those water types for sure, especially with the debuff of Scald, and perhaps a little bit of less lanterns uh, against us. So yeah, that's gonna be looking like a much healthier meta, but not that much different from what we used to have uh, in the previous seasons. So that is gonna be all for today, trainers. Thank you for watching, for sticking around till the end. Write down in the comment section what was your favorite uh, moment of this big move update because mine was definitely heavy wind girl. I'm just joking. This Pokemon is one of the most hated ones in my mind and I cannot stop but making fun of it. Perhaps my favorite addition here is gonna be counter to Lokix. I really want to see how that is gonna uh, go but still I do not believe that it's gonna be that good. Anyways, it's all up to you to try it out and in this channel we're gonna test out everything. So yeah, that is gonna be all for today and I hope to see you all into the next one.